Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Deuteronomy 33 to 34, Joshua 1 to 3, Psalm 150, and Proverbs 29. Let's just start. Here's the blessing that Moses, the man of God, gave to the Israelites before he died. He said, The Lord gave from Mount Sinai, like the rising sun, he shone on his people from Mount Seir. He shone on them from Mount Paran. Par Par he came with large numbers of angels. He came from his mountain slopes in the south. Lord, I'm sure you love your people. All the holy ones are in your hands. Well, at your feet, all is going to bow down, and you teach them. They learn the law and his gifts. It belongs to the community of the people of Jacob. The law was the king over Israel when the people, leaders of the people came together. The tribes of Israel were isolated. That's what, here's what Moses said about Reuben. Let Reuben live, don't let him die, and do not let his people be free. That's what, here's what Moses said about Judah. Lord, listen to Judah cry. Bring him to his people. By his own power, he stands up for himself. Lord, help him fight against his enemies. Here's what Moses said about Levi. Your year, your Thummim and Urim belong to your faithful servant. You tested him at Massa. You argued with him at the waters of Meribah. Levi didn't show special favor to anyone. He did not spare his father or mother. He didn't excuse his reality or his children. But he watched over your word. He guided your company. He teaches your rules to the people of Jacob. He teaches the law, your law to Israel. Your first in Sinsti, he sacrifices whole burnt offerings on your altar. Lord, bless all his skills. Be pleased with everything he does. Destroy those who rise up against him. Strike down his enemies until they can't get up. Here's what Moses said about Benjamin. That the one he loved, the Lord loves, rests safely in him. In him. The Lord guards him all day long. The one the Lord loves rests in his arms. Here's what Moses said about Joseph. May the Lord bless Joseph's land. May he bless him with dew from the highest heaven. May he bless him with water from the deepest ocean. May he bless it with the grass, with the blessed crops the sun can produce. May he bless it with the finest crops the moon can give. May he bless it with the best products of the age old mountains. May he bless it with the many crops of the ancient hills. May he bless it with the best gifts that fill the earth. May he bless it with the favor of the God who spoke out of the burning bush. Let all these rest, blessings rest on the head of Joseph. Let them rest on the head of the one who was prince among his brothers. His glory is like the glory of a bull born first to its mouth. His horns are like the horns of a wild ox. He will use them to destroy the nations. He will wipe out the nations that are very far away. The ten thousands of men in Ephraim's army are like the bull and the ox. So are the, owls, so are the thousands in the army of Nancy. Here's what Moses said about Zebulun and Isaac. Zebulun, be filled with joy when you go back. Isaac, be joyful in your tents. You will call for other people to go to the mountain. May you offer the sacrifice. Of those who do want to find. You will enjoy the many good things your ships get bring. You will enjoy treasures that are hidden in the sand. Here's what Moses said about Gad. May the God who gives Gad more land be praised. Gad lives there like a lion that tears off arms and heads. He traded the best land for his livestock. The leaves share with his tent one. The leaves of the people came to build. Then Gad carried out the Lord's holy plan. He carried out the Lord's decisions for Israel. Here's what Moses said about Dan. Dan is like a lion's cub that charges them to the land of Bashan. Here's what Moses said about Naphtali. The Lord greatly favors Naphtali. He, the Lord fills him with his blessing. Naphtali's land will reach south to the Sea of Galilee. Here's what Moses said about Asher. Asher is the most blessed of sons. May let his brothers be kind to him. Now Asher will wash his feet with all of The bars of his gates will be, be will be made out of iron and bronze. But his strength will last as long as he lives. There is no one like the God of Israel. He rides across the heavens to help you. He rides, he rides on the clouds in his glory. He, God lives forever. You can write to him for safety. His powerful arms are always there to carry you. He will drive out your enemies to make room for you. He will say to you, destroy them. So Israel will live in safety. Jacob will live secure in a land that is green and fresh white. There the heavens shall fetch you. He said, how bless you. He was like you. The Lord is saving you. He keeps you safe. He helps you. He is like a glorious sword to you. Your enemies bow, will bow down to you in fear. He will walk on the highest places of the earth. Moses climbed out Mount Nebo. He went up from the plains of Moses, Moab to the highest slopes of Pisgah. It's across from Jericho. At Pisgah, the Lord showed him the whole land from Gilead all the way to Dan. Moses saw the whole land of Nephtal. He saw the territory of Ephraim and Manasseh. The Lord showed him the whole land of Judah all the way to the Mediterranean Sea. The Lord Moses saw the naked death. He saw the whole area from the valley of Jericho all the way to Zor. But Jericho was also known as the city of palm trees. Then the Lord spoke to Moses. He said, This is the land I promised to Abraham, 
I said to you, I told, I will give this land to you your children, and their children, the races. I have let you see it with your own eyes, but you will not go across the Jordan River to enter. Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in Moab. It happened just as the Lord had said. The Lord buried the body of Moses in Moab. His grave is in the valley across from Beth Peel, but to this day no one knows where is his grave. Where his grave is. Moses was 120 years old when he died, but his eyesight was still <coughs> good. He was still very strong. But his wife's men knew for Moses on the plains of Moab for 30 days. They did until their time for weeping when the battle was over. Joshua the son of Nun was full of wisdom. That's because Moses had placed his hands on him. So, he did. so the Israelites listened to Joshua. They did what the Lord had commanded Moses. Since then, Israel has never had a prophet like Moses. The Lord knew him face to face. The Lord, Moses did many signs and amazing things. The Lord sent him to do them in Egypt. The Lord, Moses did them against Pharaoh, against all his officials, and against his homeland. No one has ever had the mighty power Moses had. No one has ever done the wonderful acts he did inside of all the Israelites. Joshua 1 to 3. Moses, the son of the people, died. After that, the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of the Lord. Joshua was Moses' help. The Lord said to Joshua, my servant Moses is dead. Now then, I want you and all these people to get ready to go across the Jordan River. I want all of you to go into the land I am about to give to the Israelites. I will give all of you every place you walk on, just as I promised to Moses. Your territory will reach from the naked desert all the way to the bank, so the great difference river will be to the east. The Mediterranean Sea will be to the west. Your territory will include all of the Hittite country. Joshua no one. Joshua, no one will be able to oppress you as long as you live. I'll be with you. <laughs> I will just as I was with my I'll never leave you. I'll never desert you. Be strong and brave. You will lead the, these people. They will take their land and it's the very end. It's the land I have promised to give their people longer. Be strong and uh, be strong and very brave. Make sure you obey the whole world, my servant, Moses gave you. Do not turn away from it to the right or the left. Then you will never have then you will have success everywhere you go. Never stop reading this book of the Lord. Day and night you must think about what it says. Make sure you do everything that is evil. Then things will go well with you. And you will have great success. Here's what I am commanding you to do. Be strong and brave. Do not be afraid. Do not lose hope. I am the Lord Jehovah. I will be with you everywhere you go. So Joshua gave orders to the officers of the people. He said, Go to through the camp. Tell the people, Get your supply ready. Three days from now, you will go across the Jordan River. Right here. Right here. You will go in and take over the land. The Lord, is, the Lord your God is giving it to you as your very own. Joshua is a slave to the tribes of Reuben and Gad and half of the tribe of Manasseh. He said to you, Remember what Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you. He said, The Lord your God is giving you this land. It's a place where you can make your home and live in peace and rest. Your, your wives, children, and livestock can stay here east of the Jordan River. Moses gave you this land. All the fighting men must get ready for that. Then you must, they must go across ahead of the other tribe. You must help them until the Lord gives them rest. In the same way, he has already given you rest. You must help them until they have visited over their land. It's the land the Lord your God has given them. After that, you can come back here. Then you can live in your own land. It's the land, it's the land that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you east of the Jordan River. It's the Lord's son. Then the tribe of Reuben and Gad and half of the tribe of Manasseh and Joshua. They said, We will do what you have commanded us to do. We will go where you send us. We obey Moses completely. <coughs> and we will obey you just as completely. But may the Lord your God be with you, just as he was with Moses. Suppose someone questioned your authority, and suppose they refused to obey anything, anything you command them to do. Then they will be put to death. Just be strong and brave. Joshua the son of Nun sent two spies from Shechem. He sent them in secret. He said to you, Go and look over the land. Most of all, check out Jericho. So they went to Jericho. They stayed at the house of the prostitute. Her name was Rahab. The king of Jericho was told, 
Look, someone they just like to come here to they've come to check out the land. So the king sent a message to my ear. It said, Bring out the men who have who came into your house. They've come to check out the whole land. But the woman I hid in the tomb, it's she said, It's true that the men came here, but I didn't know where they had come from. They left at sunset when it was time to close the city gate. And I didn't know which way they went. So go after them quickly. You might catch up with them. But in fact she had taken them up on the roof. There she had hidden them under some black sheet powder. The king's men left to hunt down on the spice. They took a road that leads to where the Jordan River can be crossed. As soon as they had gone out of the city, the gate was shut. The Rahab sent up went up on the roof before the spice settled down for the night. She said to him, I know that the Lord has given me this one. We are very much afraid of you. I want to live this in this country is filled with me because of you. You've heard how the Lord dried you, dried out the Red Sea for you when you came out of Egypt. We've heard what you did to Sinai and Daniel, the two of more And in the new east of the Jordan River, you completely destroyed them. When we heard of it, we were terrified. Because of you, we were beyond bravery. The Lord your God is the God who rules in heaven above and on the earth below. Now then, please give me a word. Promise me in the name of the Lord that you will be kind to my family. I've been kind to you. Promise me that you will spend the lives of my father and mother. Spare my brothers and sisters. This is spare everyone in their families. Promise that you won't put any of us to death. So the men made a promise to him. If you say that, I will say yes. They said, just don't tell anyone what we're doing. Then we'll be kind and faithful to you when the Lord gives us the land. The house Rahab lived in was part of the city wall, so she let the spies down by a road through the window. She said to him, Go up into the hills. The men chasing you won't be able to find you. Hide yourselves there for three days until they return. Then you can go on your way. The spies had said to her, You made us give our word, but we won't keep our promise unless you do what <coughs> we said. When we enter the land, you must tie this bright red rope in the window. Tie in the window you let us down and pray. Bring your father and mother into your hand. Also bring in your brothers and everyone else in your family. None of you must go out into the street. If you do, anything that happens to you will be your own fault. We won't be responsible. But if anyone hurts someone who is inside the house with you, it will be our fault. It will be responsible. Don't tell anyone what we're doing. If you do, we won't have to make, keep the promise you asked us to make. I agree, they have replied. Now do as you say. So she sent them away, and they left. Then she tied the bright red rope in the window. Then when the spies left, they went up into the hills. They stayed there for three days. By that time, the men chasing them had searched all along the road. They couldn't find them, so they returned. Then the two spies started back. They went down out of the hills. They went across the Jordan River. They came to Joshua, the son of Nun. They told him everything that had happened to him. They said, We're sure the Lord has given the whole land over to you. All the people there are weak with fear because of us. Early one morning, Joshua and all of his lights started out from Shittim. They went down to the Jordan River. They camped there before they went across it. After three days, the, official, the officers went all through the camp. They gave orders to the people. They said, What's for the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God? The priests who are Levites will be carrying it. When you see it, you must move out from where you are and follow it. Then you will know which way to go. You have never gone this way before, but don't go near the Ark. Stay about 1,000 1, yards away from it. Joshua said to them, Put yourselves apart to the Lord. Tomorrow you will do amazing things in the land. Joshua said to them, Go and get the Ark of the Covenant. Walk on ahead of the people. So they went and got it, and then they walked on ahead of the Lord. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to honor you in the, in the eyes of all this land. Then they will know that I am with you, just as I was with Moses. Speak to the priests who carried the ark of the covenant. Tell them, when you reach the edge of the Jordan River, go into the water and stand there. Joshua said to the Israelites, Come here, listen to what the Lord your God is saying. You will soon know that the Lord that the living God is in the land. He will suddenly drive out the people now on the land. Mm. He will do it to make room for it. He will drive out the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Perizzites, Gergashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. The ark will go into the Jordan River ahead of you. It's the ark of the covenant of the Lord.
after the battle of the Hollow. She used 12 men from the tribes of Israel. She used one from each tribe. The very priest will carry the Ark of the Lord. He is the Lord of the whole earth. As soon as the priest steps into the Jordan, he will stop flying. The water that's coming down from that's coming down the river will pile up in one place. That's how you will know that the living God is not only. So the people took their tents down. They prepared to go across the Jordan River. The priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. The water of the Jordan was going over its banks. It always does that at the time the crops are being gathered. The priest came to the river. The feet touched the water's edge. Right away, the water coming down the river stopped flowing. It piled up far away at a town called Adam near Zerahim. The water flowing down to the Dead Sea was completely cut off. So the people went across the Jordan River opposite Jericho. The priest carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, and they stopped in the middle of the river and stood on dry ground. They stayed there until the whole nation of Israel had gone across on dry ground. Proverbs 29. Whoever still went away after being warned many times will suddenly be destroyed. Nothing can save. When those who do right go strong, the people are good. And when those who do wrong become wrong, the people grow. A man who loves wisdom makes his father good. But a man who spends time with prostitutes wastes his father's wealth. By doing what is fair, a king makes the country secure. But those who only want money tear it down. Those who only pretend to praise their neighbors have spreading a net to catch them by the Simple people are trapped by their own sin. The gully people shout for joy and are glad. Those who do what is right want to treat poor people fairly. But those who do what is wrong uh, don't care about the poor. Those who make fun of the surface evil. Oh, why do you turn anger away? The survivor wise person goes to court with a cool shot. Then the poor horse person gets mad and prays for it. Then there's no peace. Murderers hate on the people. They try to kill those who do what is right. Foolish people let their anger run wild, but wise people keep themselves under control. If all rulers listen to life, all their officials become evil. The Lord gives sight to the eyes of four people and those who treat others fairly. That's what they both have in common. If a king judges all of evil fairly, his plan will always be secure. If a child is corrected, they become wise. But a child who is not so corrupt, it will shame to their mother. Then those who do wrong go strong, but so does Then those who do right will see them destroyed. If you correct your children, they will give you peace. They will bring you the delight you desire. When there, where there is no message from God, people don't control themselves. The blessed is the one who obeys wisdom and instruction. Servants can't be corrected only by words. Even if they understand, they won't obey. Have you seen someone whose speech is not There's more hope. There's more hope for foolish people than for that person. A servant who is being small from the will have no respect for you later on. An angry person is not like And a person with a bad temper commits many sins. Pride brings a person like that. Those whose spirits are low will be honored. To help a thief is to become your own enemy. When you go to court, you, you won't dare to say anything. If you are afraid of people, they will trap you. But if you trust them, he will keep you safe. Many of you want to meet a rule, but only the rule will see that people want you to fail. Those who do what is right hate on dishonest people. Those who do what is wrong hate honest people. Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in his mighty hand. Praise him for his wonder. Praise him for his power. Praise him because he is greater than anything else. Praise him by blowing trumpets. Praise him with harps and lights. Praise him with tambourines and dancing. Praise him with stringed instruments and flute. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that is blessed praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now thus done, I do not do the Lord's prayer. Please bow your heads. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. The give us our gifts as you must have begun our gifts. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.